IPSCs should ideally be banked when they are roughly 70-80% to 80 confluent and good quality as shown in these images. This will generally be around 4-5 to five days after passage. Here is a basic overview of the process that will be demonstrated. EDTA is used to dissociate the cells. This way they remain as clumps when they are frozen, so they will recover quickly after thaw. It's also possible to freeze IPSCs as single cells, however this will increase recovery time. After dissociation, the cells are collected in E8 media. They are then centrifuged and resuspended in the freezing medium. For this, we use KSR with 10% DMSO. The DMSO is a type of cryoprotectant which slows the cooling rate of the cells and helps to prevent cell death. The cell suspension is then transferred into cryovials, which are then put into a cell freezing container such as a cool cell or a Mr. Frosty. One well of a six well plate with 70% confluent cells is usually enough for banking about six cryovials. This should then be transferred into a minus 80 freezer as soon as possible to avoid prolonged exposure of the live cells to the DMSO. Then, after 24 to 48 hours, they can be transferred to a liquid nitrogen tank for long-term storage. The first thing you need to do is to prepare your freezing medium, which is 90% KSR plus 10% DMSO. This should be scaled according to how many wells that you are banking. In this demonstration, Leighton is combining 9ml of KSR with 1ml of DMSO. After mixing the freezing medium, it should be stored at 4 degrees until you're ready to use it. The next thing that you should do is prepare your 0.5 millimolar EDTA. You do this by performing a 1 in 1000 dilution of your 0.5 molar EDTA stock in PBS. The first thing to do is to aspirate the media from the surface of the cells. Then you should wash them with 2ml PBS per well to get rid of any residual media. Aspirate the PBS, then add 1 ml of your EDTA solution. Transfer the plate to a 37 degree incubator then incubate for 3-5 to five minutes until you observe bright halos start to form around the edges of the colonies. After 3-5 to five minutes, retrieve your cells from the incubator and aspirate the EDTA from the cell surface. You should then add E8 media using a stripette, pipetting up and down to detach the cells. Here we're using 3ml of E8 media. 
Try to avoid pipetting the cell suspension up and down more than a few times, as this will cause the colonies to break up. If you struggle to detach your cells the first time, you can repeat the process with additional media. Then transfer the cell suspension into a falcon tube. The cells are then centrifuged for one minute at 120 RCF. After you have spun down the cells, you should aspirate the supernatant from the cell pellet. It's good practice to gently flick the cell pellet to initially break it up before adding any freezing media. You should now go and get your freezing media from the fridge. Since we are freezing six cryovials, in this case we are resuspending the cell pellet in six mil of freezing media. Resuspend the cell pellet gently until you can't see any visible clumps. Prepare six cryovials for freezing. This could also be done ahead of time to speed up the process and minimise exposure of your cells to the DMSO. Aspirate the entire volume of cell suspension, then aliquot one mil into each cryovial. They should then be immediately transferred into an appropriate freezing container, such as a cool cell. The cell should then be put into a minus 80 degree freezer as soon as possible. Then, 24 to 48 hours later, they can be transferred into a liquid nitrogen tank for long term storage.